Yeah, it's pretty dark out. We're getting one last walk in. The uh, I'm nearly at my my step goal here, so let's uh, let's hopefully get that. It's been a bit of frustrating or uh, frustrating walk because it's so slick out, and uh, I left my cleats in the freaking rover again. I don't know why I keep doing that. You know, it's uh, just the season that they come in most benefit, and uh, yeah, I guess I just completely ignore that. But they're they're fairly useful right now, so so we'll get that. Uh, definitely prevented me or it would definitely prevent me from skating down the freaking hill a couple times like I just uh, just did so I'm ready came back for vengeance we got some uh, cleats on now time to climb this hill this is two times I've been out here and couldn't so we're gonna fly up it even though Looks like somebody was nice enough to spread gravel. That's pretty nice. Up to the top. We made it uh, made it up the staircase, no problem, of course, because cleats, you know, it's treacherous without it, but uh, smells, lots of smells right now. Deer like to come up here, so yeah. We're, we're trucking along. I got a headlamp in the backpack, so ready for uh, nighttime and uh, whoa. We'll go a little longer and get a good get a good workout going. Um, you know, it's Thursday. We're still losing daylight fast, but that's about to change pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about that. We're almost to the winter uh, equinox, solstice, whatever it is. We're out here on the High Room Trail today, aren't we? Yeah, she wants to keep going, but I stopped her for the camera. You know, YouTube first. That's uh, gorgeous. It's nice out. It's windy as heck. We're just kind of in like a, a leeward side of things. It's kind of ripping on over that ridge behind us and heading up valley. <sighs> we'll get a short one in. Um, we got got some news at the office. It's not too uh, not too great, but um, yeah, the the guy that I sit beside, like he's got a wall between me and uh, being him, but, uh, but he just tested positive for the old C19. er so looks like I'm working from home for the next two weeks or. Uh, you know, at least until, or if, any symptoms show up and then get the test and see if, uh, see if I too am, am super positive. Well, gotta stay positive, right? Oh, well, we'll keep going. Um, I feel fine. Heart rate's not up. The resting heart rate, which is usually an indication of when I get sick. It's just kind of shitty because, you know, we're not a, we're not a high exposure sort of business. Like he sits at his computer, I sit at my computer. Every now and then we're outside talking to contractors and you know, you try to stay away from them, but you know, maybe you lick the doorknob coming into the building or something. And, oh, well, we, uh, we've got 800 active cases in, uh, in the interior health region. The size, the size of fricking Montana. And there's 800 active cases amongst, uh, I think 750,000 people. So, you know, Roughly one in, uh, roughly one in 1,000 people have it, and, uh, and he crossed it, and so, oh well. Anyway, what do you think, girl? We're gonna go keep going? I think we are. It's getting pretty dark, so I think we're gonna head back down if I can convince her. Let's go. Alrighty, down we go. We're gonna play this game, catch and release, boys. Just gotta shake the hook. Time to do something about that. It's out here down on the lower end of Smittyland. That, uh, we got trees coming down like crazy through here. You can see they're all breaking off. They're all dead from that fire. So, and they're starting to finally give out in the wind. Man, since I'm gonna be quarantined out here doing a lot of hiking, I might as well clean it up a little bit and get us all all ready for that that eventuality i've already been down here this morning did uh did a hike with the pup did some scouting as it were so you know a good four thousand steps but let's uh let's get the sweat on open again all right now on to the rest of this something didn't make it we're out walking this is our this is our evening walk i just did a bunch of uh maintenance down there cut down a bunch of trees i figure we're gonna come down pretty soon and uh yeah we're 
we're stopping to talk to my hand, which as Fernberg points out, is probably a little bit of an annoyance to my dog. So, sounds like a her problem. It's been a good day of hard work. You know, not much steps, but I think I'm still gonna get my step goal here and oh geez, another 200 steps or so. So not too bad. And uh, yeah, a nice round out of the week. Once again, the scale went down to like, uh, I think two, oh, I think it, I think it went down to 245 or 246, which I was like, heck yes. And, uh, and right before this weekend, it, it came back up to 250 again. So it's, whatever, whatever. Just kind of hammer away. I think these steps are helping, but it's like, come on, give me a break. Um, I got my test results back though, hey? So I am COVID free. I'm still quarantining apparently though. I've got another, another uh, 10 days. So just, I guess when you get a primary, uh, like when you're exposed to a person with it, with a positive test, it's no matter what you are, you're quarantining for, for 14. So whatever, we'll just keep doing laps around here.